Hi boys and girls and welcome back to Miss Allen's channel. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. And today is N Day. N Day is New Name Day. Sometimes you might not like your name and you want, might want to change it. So I want you to think of a new name that you want to be called today. Miss Allen's going to change her name to Miss Banana today. I want to be called Miss Banana instead of Miss Allen. Wonder what your new name is going to be. I can't wait to hear them. Continuing on talking about community helpers, I have another book for us today. This book is called Helpers in My Community. <clears throat> what is a community? A community is a place where many people live and work together. Community helpers are people who make better communities cleaner, safer, and better. Who are the helpers in your community? Some community helpers are builders, doctors, teachers, and librarians. All these people help you. So all these people help us and help our towns and our communities a better place for us to live. Buildings and roads. Communities need buildings where people can live or work. Builders build houses, offices, schools, and stores. They also build roads and bridges. Builders use these machines to do their work. A bulldozer, a digger, a crane, and a cement mixer. And when we read that story about building the road, we learned all about this. So those people who build the roads are community helpers, and they really help us make our world safer and easier. Electricity and water. People in our community need electricity. Lights, computers, television sets, and many other things cannot work without it. Electricians are people who make sure that communities have electricity they need. People need clean water in their homes. They drink the water and use them to have baths and wash their clothes. Plumbers are community helpers who put in the pipes that carry the water to our house. So we need electricians who help us with the electric. Imagine if we didn't have TV during this time. We would all be in trouble. And we need clean water. Plumbers are the people that help us with our water. Teachers and librarians. Teachers make learning fun and exciting. They teach us how to read and write. They teach us math, science, and social studies. Librarians help us find books we need. Some li librarians work in schools. Some librarians work in community libraries. So like Miss O'Hara, but hopefully maybe soon, we'll be able to go to the other library soon. And teachers are community helpers. Other school helpers. Some children walk to school. Crossing guards make sure they are safe. Children cross the road safely. School bus drivers drive some children from home to school. School nurses take care of children who are sick at school. Principals make sure that everyone follows the school rules. Caretakers clean schools, fix things. Who are our school helpers? I can think that Mr. Don, who is our safety person, is our helper. Our janitors, our cafeteria workers are all our school helpers too. Medical helpers. Medical helpers are doctors, nurses, and other other people who help us keep healthy. Some medical helpers work in offices. Others work in hospitals. Dentists are doctors who take care of our teeth. They check our teeth and fix them. They teach us how to have healthy mouths. So we have workers who work with our bodies and doctors who work with our teeth. Both of these things are very important to keep us healthy and safe. Emergency helpers. Emergencies are dangerous things that happen suddenly. Not often. Emergency workers help us find people to take them away from dangers. Paramedics bring sick or hurt people to the hospital. They take them to the hospital quickly in ambulance. They care for people until they arrive at the hospital. So in case you get really sick, there are people who will get you to the hospital safely and will keep you safe until you get there. Those people are very important too. We have firefighters. Firefighters in buildings 
Firefighters fight fires in buildings. They also fight forest fires. They rescue people and animals. They risk their lives to help others. Firefighters drive big trucks to the fire. So there's our firefighter and the big truck that we've seen and a fire. Fires can happen all the time and without them, things would burn down and people would not be safe. Police officers. Police officers protect people in their community. They make sure people do not break laws. They help people who are in trouble. Police officers also talk to children about how to be safe in the community. So police officers are also great community helpers. They help us follow rules and they help us learn about how to keep safe. Kind helpers. Volunteers are kind people who help other people. They need not get paid for their work, but it's an important job. You can be a volunteer too. You can help the earth by planting a tree or picking up trash. We talked about those things. Look at that kind girl being a great community helper. So we've learned a little bit more about how we can help our community or our town and the place we live in. I hope you boys and girls have a great rest of your day. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.